Hello, my name is Rachel from Rachel Buys Ceramics and this evening I'm going to do uh, a request. A lady from America asked me if I would use uh, a Santa Claus sponge, which is one of probably the hardest sponges to use out of the 100 and, ooh, 140 sponges that I've uh, had made. So um, you can use any paint with them, but there are certain little rules that you have to follow through with the sponges. First of all, the sponges um, are made out of high density sponge and they work better if they're slightly damp. Not too damp so that when you press they run, but just damp enough that they, they're not so dry because the bisque that everybody uses is very grabbing and very dry. So these are just slightly moist and then I paint usually with my finger, but if it's like the Santa Claus it's a, a fiddly piece, I paint it with a paintbrush. So I normally use a, a sable brush to paint uh, the, the sponges with, or just like I say, my, just my finger. And I pat it on or smear it on, but you don't need a lot. It needs to be flat to the sponge. If you've got it sticking out, when you put it to the bisque, it's going to smear like that. It's like putting a children's handprint down on your bisque when you've fill too much paint you get the hand and a bit more a shadow of the hand so it's a it's about controlling how much paint you use um now i use my own products but it, i've tried it with um duncan ez and i've done duncan concepts i've used mako so i have tried it with everything and it does work i do find that i like it the best with a one stroke or an M gobe it's just because they're so strong those type of colors are very strong and they've got no frit in them uh, and then another little tip if you want to uh, the plate that I'm going to do tonight uh, is a, a a bisque plate that I've base coated in white um, color to clay my own white color to clay but you could do it with a Mako um, or oh, stroke and coat if you wanted to do and then it tends to pull the paint even more off the sponge when there's a surface here now this has been used many 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 times if you look at the back it's very stained and dirty but it's because i don't need millions and millions of things that i paint because i'm a prolific painter so uh now i'm going to show you what i'm going to use tonight and then i will um when i do a little bit at the bottom of the uh, video I'll tell you the link to where they came from if you want to purchase any of them so what I'm going to use is a, a banding wheel so this is a great banding wheel that we purchased these from Spain but as long as it's a good spin it's got a good spin on it that's the kind of banding wheel that you should be buying um, we're going to use the sponges I'm going to use the Santa they're, they're dirty because I've already had a little go with them today and I haven't washed them so they're still damp. So I'm gonna use the, the largest of the Christmas trees but I have removed the star because I use it a lot in other things. And then I'm going, these are two new ones. This is the, uh, what I call a contemporary holly. It comes in uh, a 38 and a 50 and then there's a similar holly in a, a 50 but a single one. And I'm gonna use a snowflake. Now this is a snowflake off a bigger, sponge that came with three snowflakes and I'm, I've am i just uh, divided them up and then I'm going to use the Happy Christmas but I'm not going to use the holly on it because it's a different style to this holly here. Uh, I probably will use a stylus to decorate the tree and I probably will use either a stylus or a cotton wool bud to decorate uh, the holly with berries. I don't practice what I'm going to do, I just make it up as I go along So, uh, and I do it as fast as I can because I don't want you to get bored and most people get bored after um, probably about 10 minutes of doing a YouTube video. So I'd love you to subscribe and comment to the, the channel um, because we'd like it to, to get um, more well known and especially in lockdown because there's lots that you can be learning and it's all free and it's free to subscribe. So I'm also going to use a fan brush, a goat hair fan brush. And um, I, what I'm gonna do is thin the colors. And then when I've finished, a little tip that Liz has just told me to tell you, <laughs> 
she's been very quiet but she's always here mm -hmm. um yeah this is just a water spritzer um and you just fill it with water and then when you've finished what you've done if you spray it you can tell what it's going to look like when it's finished it is a great tip and it doesn't matter whose product you're using it's a good tip so this is one that i've done earlier oh it's blue peter look <laughs> here we go <laughs> this is one i've done earlier so if you look that that's finished it wasn't base coated white because this particular pottery that i bought in is really really white but what i've done is i did a little bit of a wash i don't know if you can tell oh yeah you can just mm -hmm. i've done a little wash behind santa simply so that you can see um the white of his fluffy hat etc now i have also i painted in the santa a lot because the santa is a bit stencil looking and you can leave it as to look like a stencil with the gaps between the colors or you can just get a little um sable brush these are kind of the sort of size that i would use but i prefer sable because it just holds the color and i'm not doing a brush stroke or anything so so we've got like a detailed sable and a number two and a number three sable there to fill it in and then believe it or not the snowflakes were done with one loading of color that's the key to this don't use keep going back for color for color for color so i loaded it once and i did every snowflake that's on there and um then i've done the um over the top i've done the uh holly leaves so if i spray this oh come on that's it you can see how much i don't know can you tell how much darker it goes and you can see that is what it's going yeah. to look like when it's finished so when I glaze this, it will look like that. Maybe just tilt it up a little bit. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, that's better. There you go. Yeah. So you can tell what it's going to look like. Uh, we swap places tonight as well. Liz is in my seat and I'm in her seat because uh, we found there was a lot of shadow. So behind me, you probably could see a lot of bisque. Whereas usually you can't see anything. I'm in the boss seat tonight. She's in the boss seat. Then. Well, she's the boss, really. Uh, so... Right, so here's the plate that I'm going to do. So I've base coated it white and I'm going to centralise it in, in the, on the wheel. So you can't really see the bands, so a little tip for... Can you just pass me the sponge on the tip? Okay, thanks. A little tip is a long stick. This is just a, a, a textured sponge for making a fancy band. And turn it and it should be touching all the time. Will it? If it's not touching, 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 touching. When it lit, I've done it too, too good. Let's just move it. Right, so can you see the big gap? Pull the gap up. It's about half of the space. Because obviously if you pull it all the way, then the space is going to be over there. So pull it towards yourself a little bit. And then spin again. So you should have your hand on the stem, stalk or whatever you'd like to call it at the bottom. Don't, I see people doing this. This is not what you use, how you use a banding wheel. You spin. So it's touching and then it's not touching and then pull it towards you a little bit. And then spin again. And now you can see that it's touching the tool all the time, which means it's in the center. So I've uh, already thinned, really, really thinned the blue down because I want a very, very thin wash of blue. Hardly there at all. So I'm going to spin it. So get it spinning. And I'm right-handed. So um, get it spinning before you put the brush down. And then put the brush down and go with your conviction. There we go. And I'll just do one more thin coat because as I've said I only want to have a very thin bit of blue there so that's enough and then on the edge I'm going to have thin the green a limey green and I'm just going to spin and put a limey green on the edge there and then that's finished Okay, and then I'm going to start to paint it. So I need it to be to be dry. 
before I start to paint it. So I'm going to move this banding wheel away now um, because I don't need it anymore. Give myself a little bit of space. There we go. Okay, so dry, dry, dry. Mm, typical, isn't it? I should have brought a heat gun up. The blue is dry. The blue is dry, but again, I don't want to put the colour onto the blue until it's dry. So what I'll start to do is I'll start to colour the sponge. So I'm just putting a little bit of black on my finger. And as I said, I'm not going to use the, um, the holly because it's the wrong type of holly. The others, the, the little new ones are very contemporary, stylized, if you like, whereas the one that's on here looks like a real holly bush. So I'm just tapping the colour on. I probably need a little bit more black on my little pile because I've already done a play already. And let you see my, my magic is there. That's what's so great having Liz here. I do these videos, plus it's more fun when there's two of you. So um, sometimes when you've actually sponged it, you might have to um, paint a little bit in. But just you know, sort of check your sponge that you, you can see that it's all done. A little crumb there. I've got all these little brown things that are coming off the, what is it, the silver birch. silver birch coming through the window. We've been on the wheel all day today. So this was the first day since lockdown that I've had a customer in because I've been um, doing renovations. Well, and it's nearly finished. Upstairs it's finished and downstairs it's probably halfway there. So, but it was it was there enough to do a one-to-one. -one. Right, so, let's have a look. That's enough, that, that'll do. So I'm gonna put the, uh, line this up. Quite high up, pop it down. Give it a little push, just give it a little bit of time, not, not pushing too much, just a little bit, giving the, the actual piece of this time to take the black off the sponge and then pull it straight up. Say a little prayer, that's not too bad. I might just fill it in a little bit at, um, later on. It's a bit shiny on, on the, the camera, I can see. And then I'm going to do my tree. So the tree, I'm having it all green, so I can put it straight into the sponge now this is not what what not to do can you see i don't know if you can tell yeah. there's far too much paint so if i show you it's still i believe it's a bit damp i can turn it around if i show you on the back it's a bit a bit splodgy because there's too much paint so Yeah. But we won't worry because we'll put a holly there, holly leaf there. Yeah. So we're going a to happy accident. Happy accident. So it's it, it it's you can see that it's actually absorbed into the sponge. And then I'm going to place it here next to Santa. Just a tiny little press, not much. Leave it there a second or two. Now this one is a bit of a monkey, as I said. It's not the easiest of the sponges, in fact, it's the hardest one to use um, but it's uh, probably easier than actually painting the Santa if you're not a big um, big on artwork so I've mixed um, a little bit of paint for his face so I'm gonna it's really effective isn't it, once you've got it all painted it just takes a bit of time to yeah to paint all the so best this little face pink <clears throat> and then we'll have a green sack I probably shouldn't do it over the already plate in case I get it wet. So green sack and a green glove. And that's a green glove there. So you've really got to study him. I think I made him maybe a little bit too fussy. We've got another Santa Claus coming out in a little bit, which is a little bit different to this one. And then the white there. Now the white will show up a little bit. Um, I think I need a bit more white, Liz, uh, the, because I've done the blue background in the background, so there's why I did it. So I've got plenty, plenty on, but let it sink in. So 
and all the white places. <laughs> Did you mean to say that? All the white places. <laughs> um, I have to change this tiny brush to get in there. Now, if you can't get to the place, what you do, look, is you pull it. Can you see? When you pull it, he suddenly looks like he's had his dinner. And then it parts the, the fiddly areas apart a little bit and then we've got the red so red on his trousers and his um, jacket and his hat I can't remember if I did his bobble I have to do it again because I can't remember and and his his um, jacket again and then his boots. You see I have a little piece of paper on my lap so that my um, brushes aren't diluting the paint. This little belt and then his little buckle. Da -da -da. I wonder how many littles will be on this video. Oh yes, yes, sorry. <laughs> Renowned for the so's and the littles. Lots of so's and lots of littles. <laughs> filling in, you know, whatever. So, so there you go. <laughs> another so. And not, and not even a drink in the house. So we can't take that. No, we've had a, what did we have earlier? A, a pretend gin and tonic. A pretend gin and tonic, yeah. Just the gin, not the... No, just the tonic, <laughs> not the gin. <laughs> yeah, and the lemon. Don't forget the lemon. Yeah. It's important to have a lemon. Oh, yeah, we've got a lemon in it. There we go. And then we put him, we can pick the tree up now. Oh. <laughs> Stuck. And then now we'll put little chaps next to him, next to the tree. A little tap. And leave it there for a bit. Now I'm going to start with the holly. So I can put put the holly, pounce it up and down, but just make sure that it hasn't got, to, it's not too much paint. And then just put these willy-nilly, and you don't have to fill your, your brush up every time. Oh, look, we have to get on that one there. And it, it doesn't have to have a hole. You can just do a bit of a leaf. Look, look how many leaves. I've done without loading. I've got all the way around with one load of colour. How about that then? That's un unbelievable. I wish I could sell them as fast as I could paint them. And then the little one as well. Just check it out that, the, that it's absorbed and it's there. Same one. Just put a few of those on. I like that one. The little tiddly one. Just, no, just the holly. It's really different. It makes it look it's quite modern compared to like a normal holly leaf. Quite yeah. A modern leaf. Yeah. So yeah, we did it. To, I did it to be a bit contemporary. Yeah. So that's enough of that. And then look. There we go. So there's our Santa. Now you can see he's. Is quite stencil like so you can fill in a little bit which is what I do I prefer his trousers a bit bigger so I'll just put them a bit higher up but it's not it hasn't smudged or anything it's just not as thick maybe as I would like it oh well I won't say not as thick it's it's that it's got gaps between because he's made to look a bit like a stencil and then his and then his little sack has got creases in it that we don't want either. We've changed that, haven't we? We've taken the creases out, yeah. He's gonna come in a bigger sponge, isn't it? I think. It's yeah, the next yeah, the next one is a larger sponge. And then I'll put the detail into his face when he's dry. And you can if you want to make the buckle a little bit larger as well, make it a bit 
it'd be nice if you were going to do a gold fine to do a gold buckle but it's a bit it's a bit extravagant to put a gold fine in and then make his belt a bit bigger a bit longer and a bit more snow on i think a little bit more snow here and his hat a bubble and then his boots so we'll finish him off in a minute when he's dry and I will just detail with stylus the, the tree. And this, this colour is opaque so it won't show the colour underneath. You could See, it's, I'm only wanting to do it for how many minutes have I done now? Um, 20. Oh no, too long. So be asleep. So I would actually do them all different colours, those um, little bubbles, if I were. And uh, just going to alter the, the, the H, just needs to be a bit thicker there. And then some little berries. Oh, some small berries, sorry. Tiny. Tiny, some tiny ones. Yeah, there were, I think the, the lady in America wanted to just see the Santa, but we thought, well, we'll make it into a, a whole project. And you can have a little go at this at your another little little. How many littles is that today? We have, I think we'll have a competition. That's what I was just going to say. We probably have a competition. Let's have a competition. How many littles in Rachel's town? Or oh, how many sows has she said? <laughs> so when you think you've done enough tiny berries, <laughs> if you, I usually, if I, if you put your little finger down. <laughs> oh God, no, no, please. <laughs> Another little. <laughs> if you put your finger down, it'll make you balance, and then you can be quicker. <laughs> that looks pretty good. And we'll have a dinner service by the end of the evening. I have a special needs group that did this last year. They all did themselves a dinner plate and this and a bowl and a mug. And then detail. Oh, the little one face. missing. Oh, that little one. Oh, that little one. That little one. <laughs> it's catching. <laughs> it is catching. And then tiny little liner. Well, detail. Tiny little liner. Got it. <laughs> Don't say no, dear this lady. Don't just start saying little. And give give Santa some features. You can have a little little rosy here and there, and a little, a little, another little. You can have a small mouth. Santa got a little sack. <laughs> yeah, full of little presents <laughs> next to a little tree. And his little reindeers. Actually, I'm going to. I I, I didn't. I couldn't find my star because I pulled it off. So I'm just going to give it. A little star. <laughs> there we go. There we go. And you can band that if you wanted to. Um, with a banding sponge, it would probably look quite nice. Or you might want to try using the uh, the frosted little. Oh God! Please don't say little again. <laughs> <laughs> Just give it a little tap. Another little tap. <laughs> on the edge. And you should really wait for it to dry. It's not dry because it'll, it'll, it might mix mix the paint. Go on. A little bit. Just a little bit of paint, please. <laughs> this is a great tool for kids if they've not got the um, 
that's the word. Confidence or skills. Or dexterity with the hands, yeah, yeah. skills to, to use. Actually, I quite like that. It's a great tool for adults, never mind children. Yeah, you can get out like, naughty girl, <laughs> stop doing that. And then we'll give it a little, oh, no, not another little. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be dreaming about littles. I'm going to do some snowflakes, so make sure it has it's it's absorbed and just tap tiny snowflakes. As I say, you don't need to reload the sponge. There we go. And voila! Done. Oh actually. I might just spray a little bit more grey, that was another little, oh for goodness sake, <laughs> I'm going to grey his beard a bit more, it's not, it's not grey enough, there we go, I'll do, oops, very wet, voila, turn, turn it around like that and give it a little spray, another little there, <laughs> You know, I think it'd be quite hard to listen and count. How many littles? Yeah, I think we could do that. Well, I'm going to get a little piece of paper next time at the side and I'm going to mark it down every time you see a little. <laughs> we'll, have a, we'll have a competition. There we go. Done. Voila. Finished. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that not so little video. <laughs> And I'd love you to subscribe and comment at the bottom. And if you can count how many littles <clears> I've said, well, we ought to make up a prize. Yes. <laughs> we'll think about that. We'll maybe put it in the comments. Anyway, I hope you watch this one. And now we're going to go and make another one. But thanks for watching. Bye for now.